Prime Minister Narendra Modi celebrated the Asian Para Games contingent's record-breaking achievement of 111 medals, including 29 goals, at the ceremony in Delhi. He praised the athletes' dedication and announced India's aspiration to host the Youth Olympics in 2030 and Olympics in 2036. The controversial death case of student leader Padam Gurung has taken an unexpected turn as it is now officially classified as an accidental death. This revelation has led to the suspension of Siddharth Subha, the investigating officer, and a short cause notice issued to the SP Manish Kumar Verma for alleged supervisory failure in the case. The recent turn of event comes after a judicial inquiry conducted by Justice Narendra Kumar Jain, the former Chief Justice of the High Court of Sikkim, submitted its findings. The inquiry was established by the state government to investigate the unnatural death of Padam Gurung, who was a Student Representative Council SRC member at Sikkim Government College, Kamrang in Namchi district. People of Mizoram do not have a right understanding of the BJP. This was stated by BJP leader and Naglin minister Tamjan Imna along in Aizwal, Mizoram. Perception that they have about the BJP is not the right perception, said Naglin Minister Themjan Imna Along while speaking to ANI. He said BJP is a political party that is nationalistic in every way. I believe that Mizoram is yet to understand it. The BJP minister from Naglin said the nationalist party like BJP is to be well understood by the people of Mizoram, especially the Mizos. The additional Inspector General of Police Law and Order has sought action taken report from all the district superintendent of police against thoughts involved in infiltration of border-related crimes. In an order, the additional Inspector General of Police Law and Order of Tripura Police has asked the district SPs to send the report by tomorrow for further course of action. Regarding action taken report against thoughts involved in infiltration of border-related crime cases, that is Rohingya Bangladeshis are the foreign nationals separately through IBB in the state for the year 2022 and 2023. Opposition party member of parliament including TMC member of parliament Mahua Moitra and BSP MP Danish Ali walked out from the parliament ethics committee meeting. TMC member of parliament Mahua Moitra appeared before the parliament ethics committee in connection with a cash for query charge against her. While leaving the meeting, Moitra said that the panel asked filthy questions. Moitra has been embroiled in a political controversy following BJP Member of Parliament Nishikan Dubey's letter to Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla, where it has been alleged that Moitra received bribes from businessman Darshan Hiranandini to target the Adani Group. The normal life in the Kuki Zo dominated district in Manipur has been hit hard due to a 48 hour total shutdown imposed by the Committee on Tribal Unity, CRTU Sadar Hills Kung Pokpi, and the Kuki Students Organization General Headquarters KSOGHQ on Wednesday. These two outfits are demanding the withdrawal of state forces from Moray, border town in Manipur's Tangnopal district, bordering Myanmar on the south. The state government has strengthened the security forces at Moray after gunning down one police officer by a cookie sniper recently. All shops, business establishments and educational institutes remain closed in the cookie zone dominated district of Manipur, Gangpokpi, Tangnopal and Churachandpur on Wednesday. Justice H. S. Tangkui is set to assume the role of acting Chief Justice of the Meghalaya High Court the appointment comes into effect from Thursday today following the retirement of Chief Justice Sanjeev Banerjee. The notification said in exercise of the power conferred by Article 223 of the Constitution of India, the President is pleased to appoint Sri Justice Hamarsan Singh Tankwe, Judge of the Meghalaya High Court, to perform the duties of the Office of the Chief Justice of the High Court with effect from November 2, 2023.